In this lesson, we'll be pulling in our third clip from Photoshop into After Effects. In our last lesson, we're able to take our second clip here and finish up our effects that we created. And now let's go ahead and go to our project panel and double click, and we'll pull in our skateboard Los Reyes Photoshop document, making sure that we are pulling in that as a composition with retaining layer sizes. And we're also gonna make sure that that is the same for this dialog and hit OK. Now, for this example, let's go ahead and double click on our skateboard. For this example, we have our skateboarder is doing a pretty awesome little stunt here, like a kick, like maybe a kick flip. And we're going to be animating him, his skateboard, and then the skateboard shadow. And we're also going to be creating a, a different camera effect. So before we had a pan up, a pan down, and now we're going to pan in towards our skateboarder, or actually we're gonna zoom in. So we'll go ahead and grab our puppet pen tool. Let's grab our first layer, that is the skateboarder, and we'll start adding some pins here. So let's put one somewhere around his head. I'm gonna go ahead and um, pull up our expansion to about three, and we need way more triangles. My triangle count is probably a little bit lower than yours is. Let's bring that to about 380 or so just so we can have some movement. We're gonna add a pin for his thighs, and then one for his shoulders, and then one for his hands. I guess we'll also need some for his feet. And then for our skateboarder, so he is really outstretched right now, and so it would be natural for him to start off a little less outstretched. So we'll just pull in his legs a little, and it looks like we're getting some movement that uh, doesn't look quite natural. So we'll, let's go ahead and we'll add a pin to his knee. And actually let's just reset. And I wanna add a little bit of starch here for his shin and for his uh, thigh right here. So let's get and press and hold the puppet pin so that we can grab the starch. We'll add a little bit right here. Maybe we can ex expand that just a little. Then we're gonna add some for his shin and expand that a little bit, about like that. Actually, you know what? If we added just a little bit more triangles, we might get a better effect. Now let's take a look at our starch. Yeah, so that is a little bit more of what I was going for. So if we pull that pin down, then what I want is the flex to just be here in the knee and less uh, across the thigh and across the shin. Let's go back to our puppet pin. So now let's go ahead and pull that leg down and pull the knee down, about like that. And then we're going to take this leg and see if we get anything crazy. So actually that looks pretty natural just to pull that leg in a little bit. Then we're gonna pull our arms down as well. Maybe pull this one down a little bit more, about like that. Let's back up. And then we're going to go down to the end of our timeline and reset our mesh. And so that will allow our, our skater to be flaring out, uh, flailing his arms out towards the end of the timeline. And then we're gonna go to our layer and just hit P and we're going to adjust his position. So let's create a keyframe for the end because that will be his end point. And then we're going to take our skateboarder and we're going to go to the beginning of the timeline and just move him down a little. Not a whole lot. We'll take a look at our animation here. So you can see he's moving very slowly. You might even get a RAM pre preview of that. Just hit zero on your keyboard. Get a RAM preview. And now let's focus on his skateboard. So let's grab the skateboard layer and we're going to, so the skateboard is gonna start a little bit lower and it's gonna do a little bit of a flip as well, or it's gonna just kind of rotate. So let's hit R and P. So hit P first and then hit Shift R. And we'll create keyframes for our skateboard. We'll go to the end of the timeline and create two keyframes. So just click those two stopwatches. And then let's worry about the beginning position. So let's go ahead and rotate that skateboard about four, negative 41 degrees, and we'll even pull it down a little bit. 
So you can see now our skateboarder has just done his trick and his skateboard is flipping around. Pretty believable. Looks pretty awesome actually. And then now that we have that effect, let's go ahead and focus on our shadow. So the shadow needs to kind of mimic what's happening in real life. And so you can see that our skateboard is flipping. So let's get our puppet tool and see, because our, our shadow right now is actually, it's just one layer. And so how are we going to create all these little effects for just one layer? Let's get our puppet tool. And what's awesome about the puppet tool is that it recognizes the transparency and so it's seeing different shapes. So when I click this little leg, it's just putting a mesh around that leg. That is so awesome. I'm gonna bring those triangles down though. I'm gonna put a pin right here. And I'm also gonna put a pin right here where the foot is. And then for the for our skateboarder, what I'll do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to take our skateboarding leg here. I'm going to bring it in just a little, about like that. I'm going to take this one, and I'm just going to leave it uh, about where it is. Maybe I'll take it and just kind of move it in a little, like that. And then for the skateboard, we're going to let's take a look real quick. So the skateboard is that N is going up. So actually, it almost looks like the shadow matches up now. And it should rotate in the opposite direction. So I'm going to create the keyframes for the skateboard. I'm going to give the skateboard a lot of uh, a lot of starch because I don't want it to be all wobbly. And then I'm going to move down to the end. And let's get our puppet tool and we're going to take our leg and we'll just kind of pull our leg away. Take this one and pull it away. And then we'll take a look here at our skateboard. So the skateboard, that end needs to come up and start to rotate. So we're going to take our skateboard and rotate that. And then we're going to move it up a little bit. Whoops. And we're going to move the skateboard up a little bit. So something like that. Now let's take that shadow though, and maybe we need to adjust the opacity just a little bit. So hit T on the keyboard and we'll just bring that opacity down just a hair. And then we're going to go to our layer mode or our blending mode. So toggle that switch and we're going to change that to multiply. There we go. Now let's back up a little bit and let's hit zero on our keyboard. We'll get a RAM preview. Awesome. I think that looks great. But that leg, this little leg right here probably needs to um, be a little bit further back. And actually, I'm going to take this whole entire layer and just kind of move it back a little. About like that. Because that's a, about where it was originally. And so we'll just, you know, take this layer and just kind of move it, move it a little back. So you can see the part of that foot. You can see the effect that we're getting. Let's go ahead and take another RAM preview of that. Pretty awesome. All right, so now we have our, all of our movements. Now let's focus on our keyframe for our camera. So let's go ahead and take all of our layers and just hit you on the keyboard twice. And that will allow, that'll close up all of your layers that have keyframes. And we're going to toggle those switches and we're going to convert all these to 3D. And then let's make a new layer, layer, new camera, one node camera, and we're going to hit OK. 
And all we're going to do is just zoom in a little. So let's just hit P on the keyboard for our camera. And we'll create a keyframe for that. And then as our, our skateboarder has done his awesome trick, we're going to zoom in. So that is the Z value. And so you can just click and pan that, that value just up barely so much. And we might even move it down just a hair. About like that. And let's go ahead and take a look at that RAM preview. Awesome. All right, so now we have our skateboarder doing his trick and we have a shadow down here that's moving. A little bit of a, a zoom in effect. And so now we will uh, stop here in our next lesson, we'll pull in all of our clips together to have a nice continuous clip. And we'll be adding some, uh, just a few effects here and there just to kind of make everything uh, all tied together.